Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Usual beginning, if you haven't already subscribed, please do, it would make my day. I really do check the numbers. And if you use the bell notification, you'll also be notified whenever I do upload a video. We do have another handbag unboxing. Let's just, let's not beat around the bush. Let's just go straight to it. Um, this came today. Yesterday, I thought it was coming Tuesday, but it's come today, Saturday. Super excited. Let's unbox it. I saw this. I mean, this could be the ultimate bag, or it could be a disappointment. Right now, I, I genuinely don't know how I feel, and I don't think I'm going to know until I open it and see it. So, let's just get into this. I, I'm i blaming Tamara Kalinkic. Uh, oh, apologies if I've pronounced her name wrong. Um, for this. I saw something on her Instagram back in February. I tried to resist. I couldn't. My fabulous essay in Harrods <laughs> um, ordered this for me with a wait time of between three and ten weeks. So it's been a little while. I think it's been about on the five, six week mark. So not too bad. Things usually do come in earlier than the latest he gives me, which is great. So yeah, let's let's just see how we feel. Do let me know as well in the comments below what you think. Not in a nasty way, please, but just let me know genuinely what you think of the bag. Um, ooh. So we've got, as you can see here, the packaging. This should be, yep, we have the receipt in there. And I'll tell you how much this was before we get into it. This was £2,710. Which is a lot of money for a Louis Vuitton bag. Let's just put that out there. I know. That's a big box. Oh, big box. We also have the um, carrier bag and some packaging included there. I'm just gonna, oh, put that over there, out of the way. Let's get onto the one that counts. So, done up really nicely. I, I do love my essay in Harrods and I like getting the points as well. Every little helps as they say. Um, so, let's unbox this. I do love their packaging as well. So, then we have the dust bag. Pop that there. Here we go. I really don't know how I'm going to feel. Oh. Oh, I think I like. The cover's nice. So, this is, yeah, potentially a bit controversial and a bit of a, mar bit of a Marmite bag. So, slightly love it or hate it. So, this is the Louis Vuitton Cossin MM in the colour khaki. So this is, like I say, the MM size is slightly larger in the khaki leather, which is, it's coming out slightly brighter on camera. It's a slightly more muted khaki. I actually do think it's really nice. And I'm just, so I've got a mirror there. It just, my wardrobe. <laughs> like, I want to watch myself film. Um, and I've just held it up, and I'm just kind of going, oh, I like it. So... I've got it, sorry, I'm, I'm going to, so this is new for me too, so I will tell you about the features of the bag, I'll do some mod shots, and then we can decide if we're keeping or not. So, like I say, this is the MM size, so this is the larger of the two sizes, the PM is somewhat smaller. The khaki colour only came in the MM, but I thought this might actually be too good, and it doesn't look too 
big. I know they give the measurements, but sometimes it's hard to fully visualise what that actually looks like in person. So, first off, we've got all attached here this chunky chain, which has got a decent weight to it, but it's not heavy, heavy. I once had a Stella McCartney bag in like a, um, a leopard print furry thing. I got it off Brand Alley. Impulse buy, which I don't often do, but that was an impulse. And the chain was sort of similar, but my, well, it was a bit, in terms of chunkiness, it was different style. But my God, it weighed a, it weighed a ton. That and the dodgy, it wasn't dodgy closure that was wrong with it, it was just fiddly. And that and the closure just put me off the bag and it drove me nuts and I, I sold it in the end for not very much. But this is quite nice. I don't feel like it's going to add too much weight to the bag. So you can see as well that it's got this lovely engraving. So you can see there the detail that's on there. So I think that's really beautiful. Um, and the leather is lamb. It feels soft, it feels spongy, but it doesn't feel really delicate. It feels like, it feels okay. I don't feel like, oh my God, I can't wear this, I'm gonna have to baby it. Cause like I say, it's not a cheap bag as well, and I, I do look after my things, but it feels fairly good. Um, that's, oh, hair cool. That's what it looks like. So you can see it's got this embossed monogram on it. And then you can see from the side we've got these three sections and from the base. And it closes with a zip pull, which I quite like actually for a bit of security. And that's a nice way that it opened. Also, one of the things that I like as well is because the zip goes sort of to the very, it's got this tab, I know which is a bit of a, and again, a controversial point with this bag, particularly on the PM size, but what it does allow is a zip to go to the very end. So you are able to use the whole of the inside, which has this most beautiful, and I've got this in a different bag as well, this most beautiful bright blue microfiber lining, which is coming out pretty true to color, slightly brighter on camera, like I say, the whole thing's slightly more muted in real life, but not much in it. We've got the logo there. You can see mine was made in France. And then we've got this middle section here, which if you want to put your valuables in. I think that's the other thing with this bag. I'm, I'm all for practical bags. I don't normally do slouchy bags because I don't like to rummage. I want to get my stuff there and then. And like I say, that, that does put me off. So yeah, so exterior lamb leather, interior textile. Well, we knew that, put that in there. So yeah, so there we go. Um, so yeah, so I think what I can do with this bag is have it fairly functional. You know, if you were, you could have it unzipped if you wanted to, if you want to be fairly grab and go and then just zip your precious items in the middle or you can go the whole hog and that zip is good, buttery soft, really nice zip um, and just use the zip to have it full on. Now I like the look of it now, it's not got too much in which is great. I will see and try it on in a bit and see what it looks like with items in as well. I don't want it to be one of those bags that looks great empty, there's no point. Um, I, I hope that makes sense to some of you out there. So yeah, so here we have the strap. So again, this is a khaki strap. And I do already have a khaki strap with my um, multi pochette accessoire, but it's a different shade. <laughs> and to be honest, I didn't buy this bag for the strap. I wanted, um, I just liked this color. I did it in black as well in, in this size, but I liked this color. I do like a bit of khaki, I really do. So, I've got the strap here, which is adjustable, which is great. And then we're just gonna... I'm wondering if I, I don't know what bit I wanna hook it on. 
let's just try it on there because we've got these how the how this goes is you've got it, it as you hold it it pulls up on the other side. So there you've got it with the strap on as well. So what I'll do is I will do some mod shots and show you on and we'll, we'll go from there. Let's just see what happens. So here she is just held like a clutch. And you could also, you could do the cookie arm as well. You could be quite casual. You can have on the shoulder. And certainly with nothing in the bag, that's really quite light and quite comfortable despite being a chunky train. Chain. Did I say train? Anyway, despite being a chunky chain, it is actually okay like that with it empty. And now let's try with the shoulder strap on. So let's clip it on. So if you want more comfort, you can have the shoulder strap on like that. And then you've still got the aesthetics of the chunky chain. Okay so here for a slightly more casual look I've lengthened the canvas strap slightly and we're wearing the bag crossbody. It's super comfy it doesn't I was worried it might stick out from the body too much with it being this um, trapezoid shape. But actually, I think as well being soft leather and quite malleable, it sits quite comfy. Or if you want to go further sporty, just remove the chain altogether. And have like so. You could also, because this has got the clips on, you could also use... Hi. <laughs> you could also use um, this chain on a different bag to change it up as well. I'm, I'm all for versatility with items and getting the most, the more versatile an item is, the more cost per wear you've got because the more different ways you can use it. So here we go. So though this isn't going to be a what's in my bag by any means, I thought I'll just show you a few things that you can actually fit in. So firstly, I'm going in with my MacBook Air. So this wouldn't take a big laptop, but the MacBook Air, which I think is my 13 inch, if you see, it just, it just slides in. It literally just fits, without forcing it at all, because I would never do that for either the laptop or the bag. But just putting that in the back, I'm calling it the back, it could be the front, but anyway. I'll put that in the section where we've got the branding. Now, because it does take up the, the full width, I'm not going to put anything else in there. What I'm then going to do is, in the middle section, I mentioned about valuables, so I'm going to pop in there my keys and my iPhone 11 Pro Max in a little apple case from Bessie Lorna, thank you. Um, and we're just going to zip that up, that will do for, for there. And then in this front section, I'm going to pop in a packet of tissues, why not? Um, this Chanel SLG, which takes your phone and cards. It's laying about because I was using it, so let's just pop that in there. And then here we have, which I will show you in the next video, a Chanel sunglasses case with sunglasses inside. So we just pop that in as well. 
Is that going to zip up? Yes, that's fairly full. But I wanted you to see what the bag looks like with a bit more in. So you can see it there, and you can see it's bulked out a bit more. It's not raging full, but there's not... You can't put too much in these sections. It's almost like you can put, if you look at it here, it's almost like you can put more in the middle section than the rest of the bag, which is interesting. Um, so like I say, it's not over full by any means. Why doesn't that go up? And that's what it looks like on. Just using this gold chain. Which I will say, with this much weight and just a thin t-shirt on my bony shoulders, that's not comfortable. At all. But like I say, with a laptop in that's made it fairly weighty. It's not a very weighty bag, I don't think. Holding it like this, it doesn't feel really heavy, because it's got a laptop in it. So, yeah, I just thought I would show you that in case anyone was wondering, in case anyone was interested in this bag, but was thinking, you know, I don't know if I want the MM or the PM size, you know, I like the look of it, but what do I want to put in, regardless of colour, um, you know, depending on what you use. Because I think often, well, for me, certainly when I'm buying a bag, depending on the use I'm envisioning, envisaging, using it depends on the size that I buy. Uh, this morning someone was asking me about the Picatin 18 and, and why I chose that over the 22 and <laughs> poor lady, there was quite a list of reasons that came out but it it's a lot down to personal taste and it's a lot down to lifestyle and not even just your lifestyle generally but I think but also the lifestyle in terms of how you want to use that particular bag. When I think about buying a bag, I always do think about my collection as a whole, as well as how frequently I use different types of bags. So I wouldn't buy lots and lots of small shoulder bags that are all the same size. You know, I wouldn't have 10 Chanel Minis or the equivalent, just because I want to make sure that I can use the bag enough to warrant cost per wear, really. Um, I don't want there to be too much competition between bags. So, that was that. Anyway, um, just out of interest, cousin is actually the French for cushion. And that's because, I think they called the bag that because it is a bit like a big cushion. It's, it's kind of slightly, I think it reflects where we are at the moment in terms of with COVID and, you know, many countries doing lockdowns and... I think fashion has changed. I think that styles have evolved with those lifestyles of being a bit more in loungewear, of not doing too much, and, and of just being that bit more casual. And I, I, I think, I feel like I myself have evolved to being a bit more casual. Um, you know, the, I mean, the pencil skirts haven't seen the light a day for a year. Um, but yes, yeah, so I think this handbag, it, I think it's one of those, a bit like the Chanel 19, which I know was out, out before COVID, but I think it's one of those bags which is great for where we are at the moment in terms of style. I think it's um, very nice and casual, but you can also dress it up with this chain. I will say, and I, I just keep touching it, that the leather is beautiful. The leather is stunning. I mean, this is an expensive bag. It is. Um, I winced a little, but I just, I just saw it and fell in love with it on Instagram, and I'm not usually too much of a sucker for that, but this time I just was, and um, it's really squidgy. You just want to keep touching it. <laughs> that's, that's the best way I can describe it. So um, yeah, there, it, there she is. I've probably forgotten a whole lot of information to tell you. Um, just because I keep looking at her, but um, if you do have any questions and I haven't covered in the video, then please do ask me and if I can answer then I certainly will. So for me and uh, my latest handbag, that's it, until the Kelly comes in, if and when, who knows, that is it handbag wise. Uh, let me know 
in the uh, comments below what you think. Do take care everybody. I'll see you soon. Bye.